Happy Tuesday, Eagles Nation. Welcome to today's episode of the Weekly Chirp. Stephen Hellman here, no Tom Oresco, but Tom Oresco is coming back to LA today, and he will be here for Bird Buzz. Bird Buzz will be happening this week. Sorry, we've been lax with that, been very busy, um, you know, with the holidays and whatnot. But anyway, I digress. Recapping the Eagles, um, obviously we had the wild card weekend over the weekend, uh, Greg Lewis getting fired yesterday, which personally my take on that is it's not a really big, big deal to me. I mean, I think they just want to completely revamp the receiving core, and that starts with getting a new coach. Um, do I think that Greg Lewis did a terrible job? No, do I think he did a good job? Uh, probably not, but I mean, asking you know Greg Lewis to work with those guys, any receivers coach, probably wouldn't have looked very good considering what the guys did this year. But the problem with our receivers, well, there, there's a lot of things wrong with them, but the big problem is they, they really couldn't, they don't run routes. They just don't look like they know how to run routes and finish routes. And the, and I, it's crazy to say this, but Chip Kelly got more out of the receivers than, um, you know, than Doug Peterson could. So, you know, I think uh, just new coaching, you know, they're going to bring in a veteran wide receiver at least. Um, they might, in the draft, go get a guy like Corey Davis, Mike Williams. So, we're going to see what's going to happen there. But, you know, they're definitely looking to revamp this receiving core, that's for sure, you know, by bringing in at least two new guys, maybe three. So it should be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, you know, as for the, you know, um, playoffs, you know, I'm fine with the Eagles sitting out. Do you really want to be like the Texans? How the Texans, you know, they're in the playoffs, they won their game, and, you know, they, they kind of, at, in a weak division, they just don't look that good. And it's like, and they're going to go to Foxborough this weekend, they're going to get destroyed. Would you rather be the Texans where you have this false hope every year where you, you know, you host a wild card round and, you know, finally they were able to win it, which is good for them. I was, I know, it was, it was a bummer, you know, what happened to the Raiders with Derek Carr getting hurt, but it was, it was kind of, for me, it was kind of cool to see the Texans, you know, actually get a win. But at the end of the day, you know, they're really not progressing as a franchise. They need, they need to like, you know, they need to improve in other areas. So I would rather be like the Eagles where you're not, you know, it, you know, it's easy to say that when you're not in the playoffs, but. The Eagles actually have a plan, you know, and the if the if the AFC South wasn't as mediocre as it was, the Texans wouldn't be a relevant team in the NFL at all. So, you know, the fact that the Eagles play in the NFC East, which this year was, you know, probably the hardest division in football, besides maybe the AFC West, um, you know, you definitely can see some, you know, you know, reasons why the Texans aren't very good because they barely beat they barely beat the Raiders. I mean, they you know they pulled away at the end, but they barely beat the Raiders who were on their third string quarterback. So. I just, you know, I think I do trust what the Eagles are doing. I think they're going to be good going forward. Um, you know, as for the draft and free agency, that's kind of all we can talk about. But, you know, it's definitely obvious that wide receiver and corner is definitely going to be the big issues going in. Um, you know, it's, and are they going to keep Jason Peters? Are they going to do the offensive line? But, you know, my plan is either, you know, depending on what they do in free agency, wide receiver um, or, or, you know, running back first. You know, and then cornerback, and then, you know, see, see what else they have. I mean, they have a few needs, but they also have some really good players on the roster. So it's a good thing because we really need running backs. We really need a running back. We really need a cornerback, and this draft is loaded with that. So we just have to make sure that we get our guys in the early rounds, the first three rounds. We can get some guys that can come in and make some plays. That would be huge for us. So thank you for joining me, guys. Bird Bus should be interesting with draft questions. Um, and I look forward to, um, you know, answering the question. Looking forward to having Tom back as well. So I will see you guys around. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, take it easy.